going on, guys? Welcome to Dedicated Art. My name is Chris Doman. I'm here with my good buddy, Ryan McClellan. And so a little trailer dropped yesterday, which is now the second trailer for one of our most anticipated movies of this year collectively. And that, of course, is Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Ryan, scale one to ten before we get started. How excited are you? Like... 30,000 gajillion billion, like, always been a Tarantino fan. You're, you're yes, as, you're that's a, a you're, real number. It's a real number. You're, you're as excited for this movie as Quentin is for as many feet shots as he can get in this movie, right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's like, uh, it's infinity. Infinity is how excited I am because, not because I'm into feet, but just because I'm into Quentin Tarantino movies. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Oh, wow, this thing went off the rails so fast, and we haven't even watched the trailer yet. I'm sorry. Oh, no, yeah, it's, all, it's all good. I've, I've been looking forward to it for a while, and the fact that the more trailers that come out, the more we get to see of this movie, uh, and that just means the closer we are to it releasing in theaters, and I get to sit my ass down with a bowl of popcorn and watch it. Yep, yep, and I can uh, finally watch this, watch this damn thing, and could, look, Tarantino is my favorite writer working today. Pretty much. And he's not made a bad film, in my opinion. Granted, you know, do do I love some of his films just a little bit less, like yeah. Kill Bills, you know, yeah. But he's not made a bad film in his career. No. So, and then when, plus, when you have a, 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 a cast this effing stacked, I'm just oh dying to see what they can bring. Yeah. But what, what good is it if we're just talking about it and we're not actually watching it? So you know what we're going to do? We're going to shut up. We're gonna we set press the table. Play. We're good. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna press play on this in three, two, one, play. Ooh. Already. T- I'm Rick Dalton. It's my pleasure, Mr. Schwartz. Call me Marvin. Put it there. That's your son? No, it's my stunt double, Cliff Booth. Last night we watched a Rick Dalton double feature. <laughs> All the shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I love that stuff, you know, with the killing. A lot of killing. Everybody <laughs> order fried sauerkraut! Jesus. Oh, you nasty bastard! <laughs> oh, my God. Seems this world got you down. You're feeling bad, bad, racial. Are you an actor? No, I'm a stuntman. man. Oh, you still the wreck, huh? Still here. You can do Kurt. anything you want to him. Nice. I hired you to be an actor, Rick. Not a TV cowboy. You're better than that. <laughs> Line. Cut! Embarrass yourself like that in front of all those goddamn people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's oh, I love Leo so much. <laughs> it's official, old buddy. Has been on August night and the leaves hanging down and the grass on the ground. Here I am, flat on my ass. Who, who I got living next door to me? I'm Sharon Tate. I'm in the movie. You're in this? That's me. I play Miss Carlson, the klutz. And that gospel group. He picks the best songs, I swear. It really does. Oh. In this town, I can all <laughs> change. Like that. Hey! You're Rick fucking Dalton. Don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. So beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna love this movie. It's official. It's official. Ten out of ten. I've already <laughs> seen it. It's amazing. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, great. I mean, are like, like, are are we seeing this kind of cinematography? Are we seeing this kind of lighting? Are we seeing this kind of filmmaking anymore? No, we're not. 
he just goes to a completely different place that a lot of people i mean granted there are plenty of filmmakers who don't have the ability like they don't have the reign the free reign to do what they want kind of the way that he does but a lot of people just aren't interested in that either because he just takes it to a different place where the way he sets it up and like the old style with the really wide shots and he doesn't when he goes to an extreme close-up it matters way more like the ones in kill bill where it's just like you get those quick zooms and it's like everything has a purpose his visual storytelling is as good as his written storytelling granted i mean the only thing with a tarantino film is they all tend to sound like quentin tarantino to an extent but if that's the only negative thing that you can say, and based off this trailer, it looks like we're just going to get more of what we always get, which is 100% QT all the time, and it looks amazing. Yeah. I I don't really have much else to say outside of the fact that I'm glad that we, you know, Margot looks incredible, and uh, I, I, I got to say, I'm, I'm glad that we still don't have any clue as to how the Charles Manson yes. family plays into this. Because I want that to be a complete surprise. Same. Because we don't know, yeah, like to what level, what's going to be included. Because he said before that it's not a Manson film. No. But it's a part of it. Yeah. And I and I feel like that should that that's how it should be in a film like this. And God damn it, Leo, he's killing it. He is killing it in this role. For real. Like this he, looks like he just sinks right into this type of role where he just gets to be like kind of like the asshole, like shits on himself all the time, and so he shits on everybody else too. It's like Wolf of Wall Street and and so many other films like all over again. It's that's awesome. Yeah, and you know, and and Brad Pitt always bringing his Ocean's Eleven type class and charm. You know, I ugh. I don't think there's going to be a bad performance in this movie. I don't think there's going to be a bad scene in this movie. Like, I just, I, this is what I want from my Tarantino. Well, actually, Chris, sorry, I hate to break it to you. Quentin's going to show up on screen and say a couple of shitty lines. But besides that, no bad performances. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to pull a Django and come on and say something in, like, I don't know, a horrible Russian accent or something. <laughs> eh, uh, it's probable. But, but still, yeah. I'm excited. Holy crap. Uh, any final thoughts? No, just, yeah, honestly, really looking forward to this one. And uh, always will be a Leo fan. So All um, right. it's just amazing. Well, then, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this reaction. Please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And click the bell to get notified, of course, yada, yada, yada. Ryan, where can the good folks find you online? Find me on Twitter at Clan McClellan and on Instagram at Vintage Sights and Sounds. And don't forget to check out the show hosted by him called Downtune Dissection, where we talk about all things rock and metal, and it's great. You guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Stardust, Letterboxd, and uh, Discord at Skywalker Doman. You guys can follow this fairy channel on Twitter and Instagram at D2A Channel. Please like our Facebook page. And uh, you can find me hosting the Who Cares Anyway podcast, where next week we are joined by the writer of Thor and X-Men First Class, Zach Stentz. Get excited, yes. guys. It's going to be great. We, are, we will be live Friday, May 31st at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. That's uh, 5.30 Pacific, and then figure out your time zone between that, because I don't know the rest of the fucking country. Come on. You can do math. <laughs> yeah, you can do math. All right. But until then, guys, you know what to do. Take care.